Her dad and her brother are restoring a very, very rare Porsche right now. What, what up, up everyone? everyone? Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to another, another video. video. So, first of all, we got our drinks. We did. I got the mango milk tea with mango jelly. I got honeydew with mango jelly. So, as you can tell by the title, <laughs> we're starting a new series yes. called Drink and Drive, but there's no alcohol involved. Just bubble teas. <laughs> bubble tea. Well, it won't be bubble tea every video. But I feel like we should make it GDM drinks only. A bubble tea is not JDM. But we'll get some JDM drinks too. <laughs> Never mind. So, ready? One, two, three. Oh. Ooh. Thomas! There we go. You are not Asian. Thank you for all the input on the topics. So for the first one, we're gonna start with talking about our dream life yeah. and goals. Talking about the dream. And while we do that, we're gonna drive to IKEA. It's gonna be yes. a 10 minute drive and we will do this in one take. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay, dream life. Where do you want to start? Because I feel like there's so much to dream life. There's car, there's house. Let's talk about cars. Ooh. Dream cars? As we're pulling out, we are seeing another STI. Cool. Okay. Okay, dream, dream cars. Car. Number one, this car. Yeah. Which we have. So this has been our dream car. I guess attainable dream car in the short term for a long, long time. Yeah, since since I was 14. Yeah. And you were how old? I always left Subarus from that toy car I have. Yes. But as soon as I could drive, so 16 I guess. Okay, so I, 16 I was 14. I really wanted one. Alright. And now we have one and it's been awesome. Yeah, we really love it. I feel like it's such a happy car. Yeah. Not a happy car, but it just like makes you happy. Like when you drive, it's just like. And I love how this car it's it's true to what it is. Like it doesn't try to be anything it's not. Yeah. And it's raw. Like there's not much to it other than like there's dials. You get your Apple CarPlay, and the rest is really just about driving. All right, dream car number two is the Blahby STI. Yeah. Yes. That well, will be like a JDM build. Yeah, because we want to import it and pretty much like make it into a brand new car. Yeah. That's our goal with that one. Steph's dad actually specializes in restoration yes. for antique Porsches. So he's yeah. got the expertise. When we can, we'll just import a Blahby Decent condition, but at least we can still restore it and yeah. uh, make it super nice. That would be super cool. I know you've been wanting that car for a very long time. Yeah. Next would be... A GTR. Yeah. <laughs> R35. I mean, R34 has been on our list for so long, but... Yeah. With how much they cost now, like $250,000 for a GTR, which is super nice. Like, I think we can get two nice cars for that. I think we would still, I mean, I would personally still want to have one at some point because it's such an, it's like one of those cars that no matter how old it is, it's just like, dang. Yeah. Like, it's beautiful. So, I yeah. would still want to get one, but we also do like the new GTRs as well. Yeah, R35, that I think will be our next big car? milestone car. Yeah, I guess so. I love the R35. It's beautiful. What color though? Because we were talking about this earlier. You said silver, and then I was like white, and then you mentioned the blue. White is nice, but the, they have the dark blue. I don't know if they still have it actually, but they had was it Was it a one limited point. edition color? No, I just don't know if they sell it like it's the same color from like the way it launched all the way till now. Mm. I see. Okay. But. R35 for sure. For sure. That's on the list. Yes. And I don't know. What kind of build would we turn that into? Which one? The GTR. The GTR. But which GTR? R35. 
I would say... I mean, we would definitely make it more like the Nismo edition. Yeah. For sure. But... Would we do a lot of engine mods to that? I feel like it's such a nice car as is, like you don't need to do much. Yeah, it's actually pretty quick. Like maybe a little bit of lowering. You can do some en engine stuff to make it just like stupid fast, but it's like... And Vancouver, where are we trying to go with that? Yeah. Not usable power. Like, no, not where we live at Stock least. is good. Yeah, I would say it would be more looks, like aesthetics. Yeah. For sure. But the, yeah. And then another one that we really like is the Porsche. Too many Porsches. Mm. So I really like the Cayman GT4. Now that they have the GT4 RS, that's a bit tricky. But the Cayman GT4, that's like mm -hmm. baby Porsche. And then we got the 911 GT3, mm -hmm. both in manual. And then for her, is the RS. GT3 RS. Yes, I love the RS and I want it in the silver. Silver for sure. GT silver. Because I feel like that silver is just so beautiful on that car. And I love the like Miami blue. I think it's such a nice exotic color. But I feel like getting that car, if I want to wrap it, I'd rather wrap it in a color instead of getting the car in that color and then wrapping it in like a silver. Yeah. So that's just my preference, but love the RS. I think it's the wing. The wing is just like that. Mm. She loves the big wing. I yeah. love the manual. I want a Porsche with a manual, so that's why I'm going with a GT3. Yes, but that would be like long-term vision. Yeah, but that's we like know five to ten years, <laughs> which feels so far away. I'm like, I just want it. I know, but it's so nice. <coughs> Definitely Porsches. We also really like the Panamera. That's like family car. Mm -hmm. Another Porsche that I really want to build is a old 964 RWB. Oh yes, for sure. That's like definitely a show car. For sure. But those that are so cool. see in that car, I would do an exotic color like the lime. Yeah. Like. That's a car that you would want in an exotic color. Yeah. What is that lime called? I don't know. The green. Uh, lizard green? That's a super nice color. That color I would get for sure in an RWB. Because your dad specializes in Porsches. He can We're actually, coming for you, dad. <laughs> he can actually do the body work. He can. And cool thing, actually, her dad and her brother are restoring a very, very rare Porsche right now. Mm -hmm. That how many are there only left? Mm. There's less than 30 left. The 901. Yeah, there's like not that many. So they're actually going to be documenting it. We'll link it in the description too if you guys are yeah. into that. Super cool because one of the rarest Porsches in the world. It was it's the 901, so it's before they changed the name to 911. So yeah. there's not a lot left because either got because they were testing those cars at the time so it either got like crashed um, didn't pass the test and stuff like that so the ones that are left in the world like the numbers are all kind of off yeah i don't know it's like a whole story to it but he does have one and they're restoring it so it's pretty awesome it's gonna be cool so hopefully when we go to ontario yeah. we're gonna be able to vlog it for you guys so that will be super cool and we're excited for that Will we do exotics? I guess Porsche's Canada is exotics. Yeah. I... Mm, I like Lambos. I like them, but I'm not like obsessed with them. Yeah. I think our most exotic car would definitely be Porsches, for sure. Yeah. Like, I, I think, think that is more eye-catching for us. Like, we're not Lambo Ferrari type people. I could live without them. Yeah, like for us, it's not like... A neck breaker. Nice yeah. car, but it's not like, dang. Yeah. But if we see a super nice skyline, we're like, oh, dang. <laughs> and then a couple so more different. cars to sprinkle in. I would love a manual V8. Like an old M3. Like how old? Like the like, OG square looking bodies? 
No, well, I guess either E46, but that's not V8. So it's got to be the E90, four-door, M3, in manual. Those are nice. Kay. I think it's the only BMW, though, that I actually like. Yeah. Because I don't really like the other ones. Yeah. Not my vibe. So how many cars we got? STI, GTR, three Porsches. Well, two STIs. Oh, yeah, two. Two um, so Skylines. So seven cars. We're going to need a big garage. Probably bigger than the house. Mm, probably. That's it for cars, I think. Now, do we have a dream house? We do. We don't really have like a dream house, but I think one thing that we really want is to be able to buy a land, a big decent sized land, yeah. um, and then build a house from scratch. Yeah. So we love like the modern style homes yeah. and for us the reason why we would want to build a house instead of just buying a pre-built is the garage is super important for us because we love cars and we're super passionate and from what you guys know the list of cars that we want they're nice cars and you want to make it into kind of like a showroom yeah so turning your garage into like these beautiful like nice floors with like super nice bright lights and like maybe like a little lounge area, like a place where we can park our cars, work on it, but also just like chill with our friends and stuff in the garage would be ideal for us. And we need a wash bay in the garage. So not in the garage, but I guess like almost like a little separate door that goes into just the wash bay. But that's yeah. closed off because if it's raining, you can still wash your car. Um, and who knows, like depending where we will live. Cause yeah. right now we live in Canada and we like it here, but we really want to move out to the States eventually. Yeah. That That's like our main goal is to move out there. So that would be pretty cool if we can move somewhere hot all year round, have to deal with snow. Yeah. Cars always looking clean. Yeah, I that would love that. So we don't really have a dream house because our dream house is a custom built house. Yeah, it would be custom built, but it would be like modern. Yeah. We would definitely want a pool for sure, for sure, for sure. Minimalist design. Yeah. Uh, definitely have a super nice garage that looks like the house, so it's just like fits, yeah. you know? Dream job. <laughs> That's a really, so um, I don't know who asked that. I think it was Josiah. Josiah. I think so. I think so. So, dream job. Now, we are both high school dropouts. We were both no, in... What? University dropouts. Oh, <laughs> No, not high school dropouts. University dropouts. So, we both went to, like, uh, college, university, and both for police. Yeah. So, we wanted to do. And we both dropped out because it just wasn't, wasn't what we wanted long term. Yeah. And for us, actually, is being able to do this full time. Yeah, so YouTube, uh, we would love to be able to do our TikTok full time, which I'm sure we will. Just check us out on TikTok. Stop. Shameless plug. <laughs> I think just like social media in general. Yeah. Because, yeah, I think that would be just awesome being able to like wake up, like vlog, and just the community that you guys get, like that we will get to build around that and share with you guys and just. Yeah. I don't know, because for us, like, cars is a big thing. Cars is what brought us together. And it brings a lot of people together. And sometimes cars are people's outlet for a lot of stuff. Yeah. So I, I'm pretty sure I had a car obsession since the moment I came out of my mom. For sure. You probably came out with a little hot wheel, like, <laughs> Yeah. But, yeah, yeah, dream job is just being able to do this. And the big reason behind it is because we want to have a platform and a voice so that long term, we can use it for positive change. Yeah. And it sounds very cliche, but we do have a very big vision. Um, all positive influence. Because yeah. I think we need more of that in this world. Definitely. So. For sure. That's our dream job, if that counts. I guess yeah. it counts. I mean, it does, it does count. Yeah, it's just a different job. But yes, yeah. it's still a job. And what goals do we have? We have a lot of goals. I would say number one is being able to build our platform that we can do that full time. 
yeah. that's like one big goal for sure that we're super excited for like that day that comes like it's gonna happen we talk about it so much that i don't know i always get like emotional because i'm like <laughs> so that's one big dream yeah. goal right are you talking about dreaming goal cool oh um, a next one is being able to build our family. Mm-hmm. We want little killets running around. How many? We want four. Yeah. But with the cars that we want, they only fit two. We're gonna have to take two cars. Because so, <laughs> we, we are, are not, not doing a minivan. minivan. <laughs> no way. Never. <laughs> no, if we have to drive two cars, two yeah. cars it is. But you know what? We've always said this, when we go skiing and we always see those big Cadillacs, those are pretty boss. Oh, like the big Suburbans or the Escalades. Those Those are are pretty dope. Like, I wouldn't mind that as a family car. Yeah, but never, never in my life, in our life, will we have a minivan. Oh my gosh, should we just get a minivan, lower it, put some plastic in it? Oh, I will say, (laughs) that is pretty cool though. Really? Van culture, I I like it. I don't like it. But, I wouldn't get one. Mm -mm. But yeah, we want four kids. Mm-hmm. That would be fun. Probably two dogs. Mm, no, we want one dog. We want no, a no, no. small we little. We want a small one we want and a, a big small, one. No, we don't want a big one. We want a small <coughs> wiener dog. That's what we want. And I want a big dog. No, we don't want a big dog. We do. No, we don't. We do. No, want a big honey, dog. we really don't. We really want a small dog. <laughs> so, kids, dog, and then. Eventually being able to get to a point where we can also take care of our family. That's a really big one, too. Yeah, our, our goal for this year <clears throat> is to be able to spend Christmas with our family yeah. um, and not have to worry about, oh, we got to go back to work uh, or we can't, you know, buy certain gifts budget wise. Yeah. Like we just want to be able to spend time with them, enjoy Christmas. And that's our goal. Biggest goal for this year. For this year. So yeah. we have literally the whole year because Christmas is end of the year, which is perfect. Yes. Gives us time. About 11 months now. Yeah. Take care of our family. And then after that, I feel like after the main things are done, like you pretty much just get to just enjoy now. Yeah. And then we can focus a lot on like charity work. Yeah. That's a big thing too. We want to do our own charity involving cars. Involving you guys, really. Yeah. Uh, We have a lot of plans, but of course we're... We're in the building phase right now. Yeah. The baby building phase. And we will talk about more of that in detail once it's time to. But right now, it's just like, that is something that we want to do. Because cars is an outlet. Mm-hmm. And I guess for us, like for me, car was an outlet because I never got into partying and drinking. Me neither. Never got into partying, drugs, drinking, never did any of that stuff. Because I was just like, man, cars are so cool. So started started spending my time with that, and I never went out partying. And that was the same thing with you too, right? The couple of times I've been to a party, I was a designated driver, and I actually wanted to be. Hmm. So like, my the priority of driving and cars to that was not even comparable. Yeah. There's a lot that of everything that we just talked about. We could go forever on and on. Yeah. There's but so I think many. that's going to come for and save it for another video. Yes. And as we share more, you guys will get to know about it more. Totally. We just pulled up to, well, we pulled up a couple minutes ago to Ikea. Yeah. But before we wrap the video, it's time for shout outs. So for this week, the shout out goes to Renson Maxwell Ooh. with a, wait, it's the first white one, right? Yes, it is the first white one. First crystal white pearl STI, and it looks like, well, he sent us a bunch of photos. Yeah, and you just picked it up too, because it's at the dealership. Where are you from? And there's still, look at that. Woo! So, we got some engine photos. Oh, seeing a new car is like, it's so exciting. Wow, the white's really nice. The white is a suit, especially with the cal- like these calipers, I feel like it just pops. Yeah. How I are you enjoying the car so far? Wow. Beautiful. Super nice. I still remember when we picked up our car. Just like that smell. The smell, the shininess, the plastic. Yeah, it's just like such a good feeling. Especially when it's an STI, it's just like, ooh, homie. <laughs> 
Congrats! This is so exciting! Seeing these photos like reminds me of when we went to see our car and then like when we actually went back to pick it up. Like it's such a fun feeling. But congrats on your new car. Yeah. Hope you have a lot of fun on it. Of course you will, it's an STI to Hold on to that car. Yeah, seriously. It's the last of its breed. Seriously. Like there's not very many cars that are as raw and authentic and analog as the STI. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and who knows what the new one's gonna look like too. It's a hit and miss. It could look super nice. Yeah. Based on what we see in the WRX, it doesn't look very good. But we'll see. We'll see. It could be a surprise, or if it looks the same, then no. Yeah. But we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. Feel free to keep sending us suggestions for topics. Yeah. This one was more quick, because you just like quick, but we will go into deeper ones. We will be talking about quite a few things. Yeah. And don't be afraid, like, it's not just car stuff, it's like life. It could be anything, yeah. Like so relationship, I don't know, quirky stuff too. Yeah. Anything. anything. So we'll leave it at that. Yeah. And also, send us your photos your car photos if you want a shout out dm us the photos um we will probably be dming some of you guys back because i think there's a glitch right now with instagram but when you click on the photo it's not actually loading i don't know why there's definitely a glitch with instagram so if you haven't gotten a shout out yet we will dm you to resend you the photo resend us the photo so yes. we can give you a shout out so until next time We'll see you on the next one.